Hey guys, Wolf Wangler. I'm just going to put the valve cover back on here. Um, there's a procedure in putting the big block Chevy valve cover on so the gaskets don't leak. And um, it's quick and easy and I'll show you. There's nothing fast, fancy in the gasket. This is just a Summit Racing um, gasket with a shim in it. I'll get the part number and I'll display it on the screen. But there's nothing fancy about the gasket. And I'll just slide the valve cover on here. So I'm running a little washer, and this, this motor has a vacuum pump on it, so everything needs to be sealed up well. I'm running little washers, and then I'm running um, a nut with a and nut with a plastic insert, a nylock nut. So I start by tightening the center two on the bottom and a little bit on the top. And you notice I'm not putting very much effort on it. And then I go to both ends on the bottom. That one hadn't been tightened at all. And then I go across to the other side on the top. So everything is just snug right now. Nothing's been tightened. Think about it. It's not going to leak out of the top. It's going to leak out of the bottom rail, and it's most likely going to leak out of the back corner. So these two adjustments here, these two back nuts, are the ones that you want to pay most attention to. And I'm going in the same pattern. I'm doing the bottom two, and then a little bit on the top one, and then I do the bottom one on the back, and I cross over to here, and I come down to this side, and then I'm back up here. And you'll see that the bottom ones in the middle now are still a little bit loose because I've tightened the ends. So I'm going back and doing this triangle here, bottom two, middle one, and then end and across, and then this end, and this end, and across, and bottom here, and across, and I will find that the middle ones are loose still. And I go back and I tighten them a little bit more. Now I'm getting them a little bit more snug. And notice I'm using a quarter inch drive here, not using anything big, and I'm working this triangle here. Now I got that triangle pretty good. I'm going to get this back corner pretty good. And I'm going to come back here and get this other bottom side good, and this top this end and the triangle one more time and I'm finishing up down here and then up here and then this end and now the middle ones are appropriately snug and that valve cover is on and all I gotta do is hook up vacuum line for the suction gauge. And this is on such a big fitting because if I decide not to run the vacuum pump or if the belt breaks or something while I'm out, then it's easy to hook the breather up onto the, this valve cover here and with the breather on there and this side open, the motor breathes normally without the vacuum pump. But it's much better with the vacuum pump. So there you go. Valve cover. Valve cover 101. If you notice the valve cover that I put on when it was just laying here on the front, um, that was a GM cast aluminum valve cover. It had a spacer welded on the bottom of it, but it was a pretty rigid piece. Here's a Moroso valve cover. This is one of the lightweight, cheaper valve covers that's um, it's pretty flexible. And to put a valve cover like this on, you really need a softer gasket and you need to be real careful that you don't over tighten it in any one spot. Um, so the quality of the valve cover you're using is really going to relate to how good of a seal you get.